Hey everyone, Eugene Kate Sith here, and today I bring you the long-awaited best Final Fantasy XI Windor 4 add-ons for multiboxers. Uh, before I get started, I just want to address at the very start that Windor 4 and all of its add-ons are technically against the Play Online uh, terms of service. So you should use all these add-ons at your own risk. Um, clearly, a lot of these add-ons have different levels of risk, but that is up for you to decide and not me. I'm just showing you what is out there and what I use the most for my multiboxing. First up, we have Gear Swap. Uh, I'm 99% sure that most of the Final Fantasy XI uh, population already knows about Gear Swap and is probably already using Gear Swap by now. And for good reason, it is an amazing add on. Uh, Gear Swap fundamentally changes how efficiently and easily we can customize, personalize, and prepare for almost every situation imaginable. I vividly remember the days of having to press five different macros to use one weapon skill, two to change to the proper weapon skill set, one to use the weapon skill itself, and two more to swap back. Uh, I for one am glad those days are behind us with uh, the addition of gear swap. Next up we have Super Warp. Super Warp is probably the best quality of life add-on a multi-boxer could have ever asked for. Nowadays, a lot of Final Fantasy XI is warping around using home points, waypoints, unity warps, Esha slash Abyssia portals, and survival guides to get around this massive world we call Vanadil. What Super Warp allows you to do is get around without interacting with the menus at all via a simple text command. Super Warp has a built-in delay, so your characters never lock up and even has a feature to send the warp to all your characters at once. Needless to say, this add-on will save you a massive amount of time dicking around in menus and generally make the game a lot more enjoyable. Next up, we have a trifecta of add-ons, uh, Config, Fast Cutscene, and Eternity. Uh, this mainly pertains to leveling your new multi-box mules up uh, but it also helps make just generally a lot of cutscenes go a lot quicker. Uh, but config allows you to break the frames per second cap. When paired with fast cutscene, this allows you to uh, go through cut uh, cutscenes exponentially quicker, uh, with frames per seconds up to 300 to 400. Uh, but it kind of depends on how strong your computer is. Uh, this means essentially that cutscenes that would normally take around 30 minutes now go as quick as three to five minutes. Uh, and then what Eternity allows you to do is it just basically spams enter during a cutscene for you. So you don't actually have to be there spamming enter to get through the text. Next up we have Quick Trade, which works on a lot of really interesting things like uh, farming the glow weapons in Esher Ruan uh, and trading gobby keys. It really speeds up a lot of things that it works on. Next up, we have uh, the new version of Sparks and Cell NPC. Uh, this new version of Sparks does not hang up anymore, and it allows you to use Send at All in order to buy uh, the shields on all your characters, and the add-on does not lock up anymore. Uh, and it also calculates how many points you have and how many trades it needs to actually buy those. And then Cell NPC basically does what it says. You make a profile, and once you enter an NPC's menu, it will automatically sell all the items that you made on the profile which is really great uh, like i said if you guys want to start doing gain xp uh, on your additional mules now we have mega uh, this is the make augments great again add-on uh, this is great regardless if you multi-box or not but if you do multi-box you're going to need a ton of augments uh, eventually and this speeds up the process exponentially like actually exponentially uh, Instead of taking 40 minutes to go through 200 stones, uh, which is what we all had to do back before this add-on, you can now do go through 250 stones in like 3 minutes, which means uh, the only limiting factor is how many stones you can get your hands on and how much silt you can actually farm, and not the painstaking agony of going through menus manually, uh, which, is, which is really a game changer and really amazing.
Next up is NPC Interact. Uh, this add-on basically will try to will duplicate menu interactions on one character and try to mimic the menu interactions for the rest of your instances. Uh, it works for assault tags and orders, runic portal warping, uh, getting your canteen, buying gobby keys from the accolades NPC, and uh, many portals that super warp doesn't really cover. Uh, keep in mind that this add-on doesn't work on everything, and it's kind of hit and miss on a lot of things, uh, and it's not always perfect, so you just have to see what it works on and remember and uh, use it where it does work. Next up we have HTMB and temps. Uh, these add-ons are amazing for buying the uh, H, uh, high tier battlefield key items and the Esha key items. Unfortunately, uh, it really only works on an individual character. If you try to use send at all, the, the add-on will freeze up. Uh, but you can make a script or a gear swap command that adds in a small delay between each character using it and that will allow you to use send at all and then either execute the script or the command and it then it'll work. That wraps up the video of all the core add-ons I use to multi-box on Final Fantasy XI. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I stream fairly often on Twitch and I am always willing to go in-depth with any questions you guys might have about any of these add-ons. Lastly, I really want to thank all of the add-on creators for all the add-ons in the video and all of Windower 4. You guys are amazing and I will try my best to credit all the makers in the description below. Keep up the amazing work, Final Fantasy XI add-on community. It is much appreciated.